now i'm going to start time and work lesson 3 now what is the objective of all these lessons that i'm going to discuss i'm discussing objective is to solve the questions in least possible time now how you can solve the question in least possible time you can solve the question in least possible time using the option or using concept you can solve either with the help of concept or with the help of logic or with the help of options or with the help of assumptions you may have to use a combination of two or three of this maybe it means that concept plus logic logic plus option but these are the basic four options with which you, with which help you can solve the question now what you don't need to do is don't need to cram the formula cramming is not going to help you in aptitude exams you have to apply logic and rationality and don't memorize the formulas in any chapters memorization plays only 2 to 3% of aptitude exams it means that out of 100 things you have to cram just two or two two three things rest you have to understand by logic and in order to solve the question in less possible time another important thing is minimum writing and maximum thinking now i will apply all these things in the questions that i am going to discuss in almost all the chapters now let's discuss uh, the first question that i i brought in the question says that a b and c complete a work in 24 36 and 48 days this is given that individually it means that 24 36 and 48 days they can complete the work they all started working together they all started working together but c left 4 days after the start of work and a left 3 days before the completion of work in how many days will the work will be completed this is option given to you 12 15 24 and 18 now in this case let's assume that uh, i'm solving this question let's assume that total work is equals to w so a one day work would be how much a one day w one day work one day w stand one day work we would w by 24 b one day work would be w by 36 because in 36 days b is doing w units of work so in one day that b will do w by 36 what about c one day work c one day work would be w by 48 now what should be the value of w by logical way w should be a multiple of 24 36 and 48 so that we can avoid the fractions let's say w is 144 the lcm of 24 36 and 48 why we take the lcm because it will avoid the fractions so a one day work would be 144 by 24 6 b would be 4 and c would be 3 it means that 6 4 and 3 they are doing one day work okay what we need to calculate the total number of days in which the work will get completed so uh, let's assume that total number of days is t days assume that t days the work will get completed now as per the questions let's see who is doing how many days of work first come to a as question say that a left 3 days before the completion of work it means that a worked for t minus 3 days t minus 3 days a worked in one day a is doing 6 units of work so in t minus 3 days a will do t minus 3 into 6 units of work this is a a work now we are going to add b work how much work b is going to do as nothing in the question is given about b so it means that b worked for the entire t days so in b work for entire t days in one day b is doing four units of work so in t days b will do 2 in t into four units of work this is the b work plus c is doing how much units of work as you can see this question is given c left four days after the start of work it means that c worked only for four days so in one day c is doing three units of work in four day c will do four into three 12 units of work and this is the c works now this must be equals to the total work because a works plus b works plus c work must be equals to total work uh, total work is 6144 units so just solving it 60 minus 18 plus 40 plus 12 is equals to 144 you will get 10t is equals to 150 and t is 15 days so in this way you can solve this question in less amount of time just by making a one simple equation but this i have written w w by 24 this you don't need to write you just straight away assume the work 144 and calculate a one day work as 6 b one day work as 4 and c one day work as 3 so in this way although this question is a medium difficulty level this question can be solved in less than 1 minute next concept i'm going to discuss efficiency concept 
very simple concept efficiency concept first i will discuss the basic concept then we will do some questions on efficiency concept uh, let's say uh, one example i'm taking a is if i say a is thrice as efficient as b a is thrice as efficient as b what is the meaning of this it means that if b one day work b one day work is let's say x units so how much would be a one day work a one day would, would be 3x units so whatever be the value of x according to the value of 3x will change if b one day work, one work you will assume 1 what would be a one day work it would be 3 if b work one day work is 10 a one day work would be 30 so in this way that is the meaning of efficiency otherwise if i say a is half as efficient as b a is half as efficient as b it means that a one day work would be half of b one day work as simple as this now we will discuss some examples on this efficiency concept let's first read the question the question says that a is thrice as efficient as b it means a is thrice as efficient as b who is twice as efficient as c together they can complete a job in 20 days now what we need to calculate b alone will do that work is how many days now uh, there are three persons a b and c let's assume that c one day work is c one day work is one unit now given that b is twice as efficient as c so b one day work would be two units given that a is thrice as efficient as b so a one day work would be six units what about a plus b plus c together one day work the together one day work would be 6 plus 2 plus 1 that is 9 units it means that one day together they are doing 9 units of work now we will calculate a plus b plus c 20 days work why i am calculated 20 days work because given that all together can complete the work in 20 days so a plus b plus c 20 days work that is 20 into 9 180 units this is a total work this must be equal to total work because a plus b plus c is doing the work in 20 days and they are going to doing the total work so one day they are doing 9 20 days they will do 180 units of work 180 units of work now what the question says b alone will do that work in how many days now total work is 80 180 units b alone is doing two units of work so b will take 90 days to complete the work because one day b is doing two to complete 180 b will take 90 days to do that work now this question we can solve verbally without writing as you can assume c one day work as one b would be two a would be six total will be nine one day they are doing nine 20 days they will do 180 and that 180 work will be done by b in 90 days let's solve a medium difficulty level question on this efficiency concept now sometime the questions in time and work can be lengthy in statement but these questions are very simple and can be you can solve these questions in less than a minute uh, let's read first the question a question says that a work 25 percent more efficiently than b b works 50 percent more efficiently than c to complete a certain work a alone takes 60 days less than b alone this given a alone takes 60 days less than b alone in this work a alone works for 80 days to do that work startingly then after a c alone works for 150 days question says that in how many days b alone complete the remaining work the options are 75 100 120 and 90 90 90 now let's first efficiency we can take so a b and c c one day work b one day work and a one day work now as in this case the it is specifically given that a takes 60 days less than b so we can't assume their one day work any random number so i will take c one day work as x units c one day work as x units now given that b is 50 percent more efficient than c so how much work will do b do 1.5 x 50 percent more efficient 1.5 x 1.5 x what about a a will do a is 25 percent more efficient than b so a will do 1.25 into 1.5 x 
दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट मोर एफिशियंट दैन बी नाउ इन क्वांट वी ऑलवेज ट्राई टू वर्ड द फ्रैक्शन एंड डेसीमल नाउ दिस कमिंग एक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव एक्स टू वर्ड दिस आई विल टेक इट दिस एज एक्स दिस इज थ्री बाय टू एक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव इज थ्री बाय टू एक्स दिस इज थ्री बाय टू एक्स इंटू फाइव बाय फोर थ्री बाय टू एक्स इंटू फाइव बाय फोर नाउ In order to avoid the fraction, in order to avoid the fraction, what I will do, I will multiply this by eight. By multiplying eight, the fractions will be removed. Let so multiplying by eight, a c one day work will become eight x. What about b? Three by two x into eight. That is twelve x, and here you will get fifteen x. This is very important in order to solve the question easy in quant. You must remove the fractions as well as decimals so uh, i have done c one day work is 8x b one day work is 12x and a one day work would be 15x now let's see how what the question is given first is given that a alone takes 60 days less than b alone to complete that work so number of days by a so a takes 60 days less than b alone so it would b takes more number of b days Minus a days would be sixty. This is given that a takes sixty days less than b. Now, what would number of days by b to complete that work? Assuming that total work is equals w, b one day work is twelve x. So b will take how many days? W by twelve x. A a is doing w units of work, and if a one day work is fifteen x. So number of days of A will be total work divided by one day work that is fifteen x. This is equals to sixty. Now multi take LCM. LCM is sixty x. You will get five W minus four W is equals to sixty. So we will get W is equals to thirty six hundred x. This is the total work I am getting. W is equals to thirty six hundred x. Now what the question further says that A alone work for eighty days. C alone one for one one fifty days and B alone will complete the work in how many days? Now let's take it. A alone work for eighty days. So A eighty days work would be how much? A eighty days work would be how much? A is doing fifteen uh, units of work, fifteen x one day. Eighty days A will do fifteen x into eighty. That is twelve hundred x. What about C? C is working for one fifty days. So C is working for one fifty days. C one day work is eight x. So one fifty days C will do one fifty into eight x. That is again twelve hundred x. So twelve hundred x work is done by C. Twelve hundred x is work done done by A. So what is the remaining work? Remaining work is what is the remaining work? Remaining work. Is obviously twelve hundred x because thirty six hundred total work twelve hundred is done by a twelve hundred is done by c so twelve hundred x is the remaining work and we know that b one day work is twelve x in one day b is doing twelve x units of work to complete the twelve hundred x b will take how many days by common sense b will take hundred days so answer is hundred days so b will complete the work in hundred days. In next class I am going to discuss some more concepts on time and work.